Hello singles. We're taking a look at three potential situations that you might uh, encounter for today. And any one of these or all three of them could be your situation. Depends on, you know, how fast things are moving for you. Um, and again, this is for people who are single. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're not in a relationship, but you're not in a committed relationship. So let's take a look at the situations. I'm going to try to keep these relatively short. So we're going to take it a, a look at a situation, and then I have a, a, another deck that I'm going to pull for advice. So here we have the Knight of Cups. So maybe something... I know it was started over the weekend on Valentine's Day. Maybe somebody didn't act and, wish, and wished they had. So this is an offer of romance. It's romantic attention. Um, yeah, I don't have a feeling for whether this is totally new. Might not be totally unexpected, but somebody who hasn't let you know. Like this could be somebody that you know, but who hasn't let you know that they think of you in a romantic way. So let's look at the advice for this card. The Tower. All right, so this is unexpected. So again, it might be somebody that you know, but it's somehow going to rock your expectations. Um, it's going to be like lightning striking, and you're going to have to rearrange how you're thinking about something. It might be somebody at work, um, because again, there's that tower, there's kind of a hierarchy there. And this kind of strikes that down. Um, so you may end up kind of looking at this person in a completely different way. Or this person approaching you may require that you rearrange your thinking about something else in your life. So interesting. But, you know, this is a gentle, um, gentle energy. So... Uh, don't um, don't let the tower freak you out. So the second situation, Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody who is single. So this is for those of you out there who um, are comfortably single. You uh, you know you've got your life relatively stable. Together, uh, you're able to afford most of the things that you're interested in. Um, and you might not actually be particularly looking for love right now, which is fine. Um, and again, this is a daily reading. <laughs> so today, it's not on your mind. Uh, so let's see what the advice is. It is the Four of Swords. Yep, take a break. Um, this particular card in this deck, it looks like self-care. So even though you're not shopping around for somebody and, and you're not necessarily trying to look your best for, you know, for the sake of like attracting somebody, um, do engage in some, some self-care primping. Just, you know, if there's a type of fabric you love to wear because it feels good, wear it. Um... For my part, uh, it's often scents. I like to wear uh, floral scents and things like that. So, you know, and sometimes when I do that, people are like, oh, she's trying to attract somebody. No, mm -mm. I just like it. I like it. <laughs> it's for me. So that's, uh, that's the advice situation and advice for another person. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune as the third situation. So something could be changing. Um, a cycle could be coming around. I'm trying to think if this is... We're going to have to look at the advice card. I don't have a strong feeling about whether this has to do with a relationship or work or some other cycle in your life that has that there's some kind of change because the wheel is the wheel of change it could be emotional if there's anybody who tends to go through emotional cycles because this is a windmill and the purpose of this is using the wind to draw up water 
So um, it could be it could be referring to an emotional cycle. So let's see what the advice is. Oh, and here's the Knight of Cups again. Here's the Knight of Cups. So to me, this is a different Knight of Cups. Again, this was kind of somebody new. Um, this could even be somebody from your past reappearing, like somebody who you thought was married and is now divorced, and that's why you have to rearrange your thinking about it. This would be more somebody who is maybe with the Wheel of Fortune, maybe an opportunist. And so this person kind of tends to come around at a certain time, a certain time of the month, um, a certain time even of the day, since this is a daily reading. Um, but kind of the negative aspect of the Knight of Cups in the sense that He'll be there, you know, when the time is convenient or right or a cycle comes around. Say, you know, I get the feeling like a, a traveling businessman. Well, you know, Wheel of Fortune, I just happen to be in the neighborhood and so I'm stopping in. Um, so it's up to you. If, if you have an opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune, and, you know, you enjoy um, having this person over, having a fling, even just, you know, a romantic get-together. Um, this card, as the advice card, is essentially saying, make the most of it. If that's what you choose to do, that's what you want to do, there's an opportunity for romance, make the most of it. It doesn't need, mean you need to jump in bed. It just means that you um, you take advantage of a situation that doesn't come around very often. All right, I hope this helps you orient to the romantic opportunities for your day. Take care, everybody, and I will be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.